Can you imagine the looks I'd get if I was in the men's bathroom? Wearing a glamorous gown, tits out. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Malibu. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today, as you can see by the title, I wanted to do something a little bit topical. Obviously, I'm a trans woman and there are certain things that sometimes people can say or ask that does come across a little bit rude, whether it's intentional or not, or thoughtless. A lot of these are things that have offended me or things that I just wouldn't like to be asked. Some of them are not things that I necessarily mind, but things that I know other trans women do mind. Disclaimer, I will say though, of course everyone's different not everyone is going to be offended if you ask these things and I do think it depends how well you know the person if you've just met someone particularly it's probably not the best time to ask these things I think if information is offered then fine if not maybe just don't ask about them anyway let's get into it number one dead name. <sighs> so of course nobody likes to talk about their dead name. I think I can speak for 99% of trans people when I say that. I have actually had a couple of people asking about this in my YouTube comments. I don't want to be rude to anyone, but it's just something that I think it's unnecessary. I'm Malibu. You don't need to know what my dead name is, right? Like, why does it matter? You don't need to call me that. I don't want people to think of me as anything other than Malibu. If you didn't know me before, there's no need for you to know that name. And even if you did know me before, there's no need for you to use that name. I guess I just wonder why people would want to know that because it just seems like the only reason why that would ever be necessary is if you were gonna bully me or be horrible about it. There's no no good reason why anybody would ever need to know that. I think that's the number one thing that you should never ask a trans person at all. Number two, pre-transition photos. Similar vibe. It's almost like if you're a great artist and then people are like, oh, but let me see the stuff when you were really bad. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's no reason for you to see that. Also, it's obviously triggering to trans people to see themselves in that light again. Personally, for me, I don't ever look at childhood photos because of that. I just really wouldn't want to have that conversation and show you those things, to be honest. There's a lot of other YouTubers, particularly, that have shown pre-transition photos and stuff. I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that. Maybe I will, but if I do, it'll be on my terms. And I think that is the key to all of these things. If it's offered then fine if not just don't ask about it number three surgeries asking someone what they've had done or what they want to have done in the future i just think is a no for me personally i actually don't mind that much talking about this but i know from other trans women that i know it's quite often something that they really don't want to talk about and i think that's fair there's definitely certain things that i can see why that would be a big issue if it's something that is a big insecurity it's almost like if you've got a huge spot on your face and someone's like oh look at that huge spot you should really do something about that do you know what i mean pointing out things that might need doing even just commenting on something that you've had done being like oh that looks great i bet it didn't look like that before just embrace what you see number four saying or implying that the men who date us are gay oh this one really infuriates me this is really offensive while i get why you might make that assumption if somebody is pre-op a it's like you're saying you don't respect me as a woman if you think that because gay equals two men and b that is very much not the case most of the men that i have been with throughout my life have been straight men they're into you know cisgender women and and transgender women, not men. I have also had bi men who are into women and men. I think that makes a lot of sense as why they might go for a trans woman. But I would say the vast majority of men that I've been with are straight men. At the end of the day, a gay man is not attracted to this, are they? You're attracted to somebody's physical appearance, not really what's going on down there. I get that that plays a part in it, but I do not think it makes a man gay to be interested in a trans woman. I think sexuality is a spectrum and to be honest, these labels are things that maybe we should move away from. Obviously, people do like to put labels on things. And I think in this instance, it's unfair to label those men as gay. And it's unfair to the trans women that they're dating as well. Because what are you implying with that? Number five. Number six. Asking which bathroom we use. I mean, what bathroom do you think I use? What bathroom do you think I should use? What do you think might happen to me if I was in the men's bathroom? I appreciate where people come from with the whole bathroom debate. I think what's so often left out of that conversation is that trans women also need to be protected by these men who do horrible things. It's the men that we're afraid of, right? It's not trans women. Just don't take it out on the genuine trans women who also need that safe space. Can you imagine the looks I'd get if I was in the men's bathroom? Wearing a glamorous gown, tits out. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't think so. And for someone to ask about that, again, you're implying that you don't respect my gender identity and you see me as a man, I suppose. It is all about education, but some things it's just common sense, don't you think? Number seven, asking about having children and stuff. I feel like this is a touchy one. Of course, trans people can be parents. There's lots of ways to go about it. It's not always easy, especially if you don't have money. Personally for me, I don't think I ever want children. So it's not something that I worry about, but I know that this can be hard for trans people in particular because it might be something that they do really want and they know that they're not in a position to be able to do it. I think it's something that you have to be very delicate around, just as you might be with a cisgender woman. And the final thing on my list, number eight, comments on masculine features or traits or vice versa if it's a trans man obviously saying things like are you going to have facial feminization surgery are you going to have your adam's apple removed are you going to have voice surgery it's likely a big insecurity for whoever you're talking to and it's just mean to bring attention to those things if they want those things done they will probably do it they may also not be able to afford to have those things done and they just have to get on with their life I have to get on with my life. I can't afford to have the things done that I wanna have done. There's definitely things I hope to have done. As a general rule, I would say just be polite and don't draw attention to these things. For me, I know my voice is quite low. It could be worse, obviously. And I have thought about having vocal surgery, but I'm a singer. I have just come to embrace my singing voice. My singing register is a typical male register, obviously. I like my voice. I think it makes me stand out as a singer. And yeah, I embrace it. Not everything needs to be changed. That's the end of my list, guys. I think at the end of the day, it's just important to be polite, isn't it? If you're coming from a good place and you've got questions, I think that's fine. There's definitely more things that I could add on this list, but those I think are the main ones that I was like, yeah, I'd probably be a bit offended if people asked me about that, or at least I know somebody who would be offended. Everyone is different. What might offend one person might not offend the next person, but as long as you're respectful, people generally aren't gonna hold it against you. I do love to talk about things, and I may end up talking about some of these things on my channel at some point, but that's my prerogative. I still wouldn't necessarily like to be asked about it, but at the end of the day, it's like anybody. We're just human. We want respect. We want kindness. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you are new here, please do subscribe join the little family I've got going on and don't forget to give it a like and guys let me know what you think in the comments if there's any that you would add let me know or if there's any that you're like actually I wouldn't mind being asked about that let me know that too and I will see you next time guys bye bye